Okay, this is a video to show you how to make 7x7 bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. The software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, that's the desktop or the laptop. Uh, so let's get started. Started. First thing I'm going to do is click Create New Bingo Card Project. Now I'm given a choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. I could choose a blank one, I could use standard US bingo cards, or letters or numbers, uh, Roman numerals, um, Roman numerals, so forth. I can also choose school subjects, English, um, geography, history, science. Uh, so there's different types of words there for English, geography, different countries and cities and states around the world. Um, or I can choose things like holidays, for example, Christmas, um, New Year, 4th of July and so forth. Uh, events like baby showers, bridal showers. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a blank one and enter my own words. All these templates I could use as they are, or I can customize it by adding my wor adding words, deleting words, etc. So let's start with blank. Uh, I highlight it and then either click, um, double click on it or click on it and then click OK. And now I start entering my words. So I'm starting from a blank one. Now I'm going to enter some words um, for um, teaching uh, English, perhaps English as a second language or reading practice. Um, I haven't really thought about very carefully what words I'm going to uh, use, so I'm just going to enter some different words, beginning with the first few letters of the alphabet. Um, so not in any particular order. I'll, I'll enter a few A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so there's enough for seven columns. Um, okay, uh, let's enter a few more words. And So you see, I'm not really entering them in alphabetical order or any other particular order, just entering uh, words as they come to mind. So enter some A's, enter some B's, baby, bug, bag, big, some C's, coin, clown, drop, some words beginning with D. Of course, I could use uh, any words at all, or any um, numbers, or mass problems, or anything at all. I, don't know. I want to just my bingo items. Oops. See, now it's warming. I've entered end already, so let's try a different one. Let's each. Uh, and that's an F. So I've entered 49 items. Uh, the reason I entered 49, I could enter more if I wanted, is I'm going to use a 7x7 seven seven bingo card, so I change the bingo card to 7x7, seven seven. and of course there are 7x7 seven seven squares. Um, in fact, I've got a free space, so I actually only need to enter 48, um, but we'll come back to that. Okay, my word list here is in the list order I entered it, and my sample bingo card shows um, the words in that same order as this list. What I can do is I have tools for rearranging this word list, for deleting items I don't want, and so forth. So, for example, let's sort this word list into alphabetical order. Um, so, they're in alphabetical order now. And my sample bingo card has got the words in the same order. Uh, I could also put them in a random order, we'll do that. Yeah. So, you can see they're in random order there, and random order here. Um, in my real bingo cards, um, the, every bingo card will be different and contain a different distribution of the words. Uh, but on this preview on the main screen, they're, they're in that same order. One of the things that uh, I will just mention here is I've got seven columns here. Now, um, when I um, print out the bingo cards, the um, words at the moment can appear in any place in the column. So the word after could appear over here somewhere, or the word uh, bag might not be in the B column, it might be over here or over here. Uh, and this organized items into columns allows me to actually say I only want the, the first one-seventh of the items, which in this fact is seven items to be in the first column, uh, and so on. So I can set a rule saying that only certain types of items can appear in certain columns, which I'll show you uh, a bit later on. Okay, um, let's just talk about the bingo card itself. Chosen the size already. Uh, I can choose different sizes. 
three by three, four by four, five by five, six by six, seven by seven. So we're sticking by seven by seven. Um, second thing is the heading. I can turn it off or on. I can change the text of the heading. Let's make it the heading. For example, I can choose whether I don't have that free space square in the middle. Obviously, it needs to be an odd numbered bingo card size. If it was a, a three by three, that would be fine. There'd be a middle square. Um, I'll show you that. If it was a five by five, there'd be a middle square with the free space, and the same for a seven by seven. Uh, however, if it's an even number square, you see there's four by four squares. There's no actual middle square, so there's no option of having a free space middle with actually overlapping these four squares. Okay, stick to seven by seven. Uh, and I can again choose not to have that free space or have it, choose the text of it, and of course I've changed the uh, fonts and colours and appearance of the bingo card. So let's change it so that we've got a uh, checkerboard, I always like that, um, colours, uh, we'll use yellow, yellow and white, we'll make the free space um, pink, and we'll make the heading, um, let's make it yellow text on uh, red background, and we'll make the lines uh, blue, just as an example, so you can see what it would look like. There's my customized colors, and I could change the fonts as well. I could go back and change the colors again until I'm happy with it. Okay, let's talk about the um, print preview. Um, the first thing is, um, or the printing, the print preview, the options relating to printing over here. I'll go through them in a bit more detail in a minute. But what I'll do is I just put in 100 for bingo cards so that I'm printing 100 different bingo cards so you can see what different bingo cards look like. Um, okay, so if I do uh, print preview, uh, the first bingo card, you see, it. this at the moment the words can, oh, I mistyped the word flat there when I was entering the words, but we won't worry about that. Um, the um, words are completely random on the bingo card, so that there's A items are, can appear anywhere, there's B items can appear, words beginning with B can appear anywhere, bear is over here, for example, uh, I've got um, baby here, and so forth, it's completely random, and every bingo card is different. Um, what I can do is there's also this option here, which I mentioned previously, organize the columns. And what that says is that, the, you see, the, these items are first one seventh, which in this case is actually seven items. I could have entered, if I'd entered 70 items, it would be the first 10 items. The one seventh of 70 is 10 are in column one. The next one seventh of items is in column two, so on. So now, because I've entered seven words beginning with each letter of the alphabet, or one seventh of the word with each letter of the better, I'll always end up with the A items in column one. B items in column two, the C items in column three, and so forth. So when I do print preview, you'll see that here. Um, so there's always A's here, always B's there, C's, C, and so on. If I do next page, that still applies that rule, although the actual order of the items is different on every card. So you can there's two different types of bingo cards you can produce. Okay, let's have a bit more uh, look at the printing options. The printing options are over here. First option is whether or not to print the call list. I have that turned off till now. What it does is um, when it's enabled, it will give you uh, this list of items in a random order. Um, so it's very useful if you're a bingo caller and you're in your classroom situation, you're a teacher, you're acting as a bingo caller and you want your students uh, uh, to play the game and you want printed reference so that you can refer back to the items you call to use a call list. And I'll show you what that looks like. Second item is how many bingo cards to print per page. You can put more than one bingo card on each page you print. Uh, the advantage of that is if you're printing a lot of bingo cards, you can save paper uh, if you print it up to four on a page. The disadvantage is each individual bingo card is smaller, and um, if you're printing four on a page and you want to give a bingo card to each player or student, you would have to cut paper up um, to do so. Although, because each page is laid out the same, you can, in fact, use a guillotine or something to cut through a whole stack of sheets. But I'll stick to one for now so you can see um, what uh, it looks like quite easily on the screen. And finally, how many bingo cards you want to print. And as I say, every bingo card will contain a different arrangement of the words, either organised into columns or, if I uncheck that option, not organised into columns, completely random. And I can enter between 1 and 9,999 uh, bingo cards, and they'll all be different. So that's the power of software, is that you can create large numbers of custom bingo cards with really minimal amounts of effort. If I put in a 1,000, you'll see how quick it is to produce a 1,000 bingo card. Now at this point, I will do um, either print or I'm going to do print preview, as I did before, so you can see on screen what the printout looks like. This is the call list that I've now enabled. That's a list of words in random order, you can see there. Um, and if I was to do it again, I'd get a different call list with a different list in random order. If I zoom out so you can see the whole page, uh, there's the first bingo card, there's the second one, there's the third one, and so on, up to a thousand bingo cards. I'm obviously not going to go through them all, but that shows you what the software can do. Um, now, the other option I mentioned was you can also, instead of um, 
printing out uh, a call list to use for playing the game, you can ask the software to choose items for you one at a time. So here it's going to choose a word at random, the word cat in this case, and it shows uh, this is the current word and this is the current word and any previous word. So it'll choose a new current word and then it will show the new current word and any previous items on the left hand side there. So that's it. Um, now the software also lets you save your settings, um, save your projects, come back to them later, do many other things as well. Um, so uh, I would suggest you go to the website, Bingo Card Printer, download the free trial version of the software, try it out, hopefully you'll like it. Uh, I think you will. Uh, and as I say, the software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows, including Windows uh, 8, Windows 7, Windows XP, uh, on the um, PC, whether that's a desktop or a laptop PC. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go to bingocardprinter.com.